My gosh. Look, we here at Screw Attack very seldom regard the decisions we make, but telling you we we're gonna do this list has got to be one of the worst because it's all we've heard about over the past year. What you don't realize is that we've been diligently researching this topic for the past year and have created the definitive list of PC multiplayer games. No more bitching, no more complaining, and no list is ever gonna be right except for this one right now, which happens to be ours. So hey, I'm Stuttering Craig. And I'm Nervous Nick. For Screw Attack's Top 10 Multiplayer PC Games. Now stop asking for it. Number 10. When every other FPS seems to focus on death matches, Battlefield dares to focus on teamwork instead. Less, I'm Rambo, and more cooperation. And even though Battlefield 3 is fresh in everybody's minds, we're gonna start this list off with a game that's had a lot more time on the front lines, Battlefield 2. Released during a time when World War II shooters were still flooding the market, Battlefield 2 for PC sent out a whopping 64 players at once to capture objectives using boats, jets, helicopters, and tanks. The game is still popular to this day and is so fondly loved that its legacy continues on in Battlefield 3's first DLC map pack. Hooray for repackaging old maps and selling them as new again. Huzzah! Number 9. There are plenty of games out there like it, but no other game does worms better than worms. Nobody. Specifically, Worms Armageddon. I mean, I can only imagine how the idea for this game came up. Taking turns trying to kill off your opponent's soldiers isn't exactly unique, but it is when you replace nukes with explosive sheep and soldiers with worms with British accents, like Robin Leach. And when you're taking turns with friends, that can only mean even more hilarity and fun. And isn't that what games are for? Number eight. We're fine with the modern military style shooters, but whatever happened to the lightning paced ones like Unreal Tournament? How can you not like the over the top weapons and crazy announcer voice? How can you not like it, Nick? How? Adrenaline. I don't know, Craig, but it was Unreal Tournament 2003 that proved just how popular the series was. The demo alone broke records when it was downloaded well over a million times. And that was in 2003 when the internet sucked. If you adjust that number of downloads to today's internet because of internet inflation, that's like being downloaded 12.72 trillion times. What is internet inflation? Go look it up. Number seven. Of course, you can't talk about frenetic FPS games without mentioning the Quake series. Health, body armor, secret areas. This game is straight up old school and we love it. Our personal preference, Quake 2. Not every game can say they're popular enough to have their own annual convention, and Quake did it back in 1996. No game can say they were that popular in friggin' 1996. And if you adjust that for internet inflation- No, like Craig, that's not a real thing. Number six. Among many advantages of PC gaming is the availability of free-to-play games, with one of the biggest today being League of Legends. The most popular multiplayer online battle arena, or MOBA, game these days, League of Legends, or LOL as I like to call it, is also one of the most competitive. With 90 playable characters, 32 million players, and status as an official Major League Gaming, or MLG game, this is one game not to underestimate just because it's relatively new. Plus, with a new update every two weeks, the game is constantly being rebalanced, making it a better and better experience all the time. So you can still get schooled by, quote, pro gamers, end quote, everywhere. Number five. Well, this is a change of pace if I ever saw one. If you're watching this video, I don't think I need to introduce you to Minecraft because it's only the biggest independent game of this generation. No big deal. Well, yeah, but I still don't understand what's so great about it. Well, see, when you start the game, you punch these trees together wood, which you use to create a crafting table, and you use that to make a wooden pickaxe, so you can mine the stone, and use that to make better weapons and pickaxes, which you use to mine coal, and you can use that to make torches and explore the world and build stuff. Oh. Number four. And getting back to competitive games, one of the best things about being a PC gamer is having access to tons of fan-made mods. And sometimes, if a mod is as popular as Counter-Strike, it gets its own standalone release. But it's Counter-Strike version 1.6 that's arguably the most beloved of the franchise's history and was essentially supported by the community. Custom-made game types, maps, and mods spread through the servers like wildfire. If it was good, it would become popular. Simple as that. Modern PC gamers, whether they play Counter-Strike or not, owe a lot to this game. Let me put it to you this way. One of the big reasons Steam is where it is today is because so many people wanted to play Counter-Strike after it moved exclusively to Valve service. How many FPS games are on this list? 
I don't know, but it's right. Number three. Real-time strategy, or RTS games, not only work best on your personal computer or they know what PC, it means, Craig. but they also are nearly impossible to pull off well on practically any other platform. I'm trying to educate! StarCraft is a franchise that we consider to be the pinnacle of the genre. Online, you can play standard modes like King of the Hill or Capture the Flag, but what's cool about StarCraft is that you can make your own competitions. You can race bikes, hunt zergs, and I even remember an old friend of mine telling me that he had found people playing Pokemon on StarCraft. I have no idea how that's supposed to work. If you're an American, the biggest sports you're going to see on TV are baseball, football, basketball, and hockey. In other countries, it may be soccer. But in South Korea, you're going to find televised competitions of StarCraft, which says they apparently have no life there. Number two. There are some undoubtedly big franchises on this list, but none can say they're as big as the PC gaming giant known as World of Warcraft. No, 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 no. Giant is inaccurate. Over 10 million subscribers, over 6 million years in total time played, an entire convention of more than 25,000 attendees that sells out in mere seconds. This game is an absolute monster. Notoriously addictive, WoW has had gamers hooked for over 7 years forming guilds, doing raids, and PvPing all around Azeroth. Oh, and uh, don't forget about the pandas. But let's be honest here, for all its successes and the ability to single-handedly keep PC gaming strong, public perception of WoW players isn't exactly high. Fuck! Hey, you know who's the douche? That guy. Hey, let's do a recap before we get number one. Number 10, Battlefield 2. Number nine, Worms Armageddon. Number eight, Unreal Tournament 2003. Number seven, Quake 2. Number six, LOL. Number <laughs> number five, Minecraft. <laughs> number four, Counter Strike version 1.6. Number three, StarCraft. And number two, World of Warcraft. I can't help it when my voice cracks. It's number one. Now, here's the thing about Farmville, which I don't think a lot of people understand. It sucks and should never ever be put anywhere near this list. If any game was to claim the number one spot, it would have to be Team Fortress 2. And none of that Facebook bullshit. Like we've said before, the genre of shooting things with a gun is something PCs just do better than consoles. You ever play TF2 on an Xbox? <laughs> the Steam version has since left that one in the dust. Call it Hat Fortress 2 or whatever you like, but now that Team Fortress 2 has gone free to play, it's exactly what we like about games. It's easy to pick up, Approachable by all, but difficult to master. But beyond the actual game, the degree to which TF2's culture has penetrated the internet itself is something that no other game can say they've done. That's why you see videos like this all over YouTube. Nope. And God knows that we wouldn't be where we're at in society today without videos of the heavy singing about sandwiches. The other thing has nearly 3 million views. The fuck are we doing wrong? Sandwich! The white man wishes. Sandwich! I'm coming for you! Sandwich! 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 This did not just happen! Hey, it's the end of 2011, which means the next top 10 is going to be top 10 games of 2011. Just like previous years, this list is entirely on you. Our list truly is your voice, so head to ScrewAttack.com and throw in your personal top 10, and from there we'll tally up what everybody thinks and give the be-all end-all of what you think was the best of the best this year. There's a lot of good games, and if you don't want to participate, Connect Sports Season 2 will ultimately be voted to the top, and you can't complain about it. It's on you, Internet.